Hello and welcome to my Wotan Academy channel. So today we are going to continue with the fourth fist, the power trend, the cannon fist. Like the name suggests, it's going to be very explosive. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the previous uh, videos so far. Uh, you can always check out the community forum if you have further questions or also use the forum to send in your training videos for me to review. I guess this is like our online community where you can send in stuff and if you need the feedback, I hope it improves your training. So, uh, talked enough. Let's uh, start with the training, all right? All right, so first, like the, in the previous series, I'm going to explain to you the stepping, all right? Because if you don't know the Pazi Twin, this is a new step for you. First, we must notice drop step similar to the Pazi Twin form. You see here, raise heel, go in, pah, yeah? pah. understand? So before I show you the hand movement, we should start with the steps only, okay? Because the steps may be a bit more complicated. Basically, we are again 50-50% and then you go here forward, right? Then Tinsebu. In the Tinsebu posture, make sure the heels are aligned in one line accordingly. So no Tinsebu here, no Tinsebu here. Both heels, the same line. So we are going here, right? Step close, yes. Go punch, yes. Step, Tinsebu. And what happens is here that you are trying to raise heel and step, right? This is the similar step as in party train movement. So when you're here, raise, step, huh? go forward. Again, raise, step. Huh? So now let's watch the nature of the hand movement. Uh, the hand movement can vary from different schools, but basically it comes from close to the body and block by rotating outside and then going back to the hip, right? And uh, you can discuss if you want the block higher or lower. Uh, it is very depending what style you're doing. In our school, it's basically at the halfway. So it's not fully up here like Thai boxing uh, because you could also be attacked here. So closer to here is very nice to protect any incoming strike Yes, and also be able to protect your ribs at the same time if you want to react quickly. So let's do the movement. As you can see here, the left hand rotates to the outside, close to your face actually. You maintain the angle by rotating the upper body, you see? Yeah, yeah. And same time you're punching and you try to relax the shoulder because by strong rotation of the block, the punch will naturally uh, fly forward. So let's show you the practical application of the movement. The first one is the block, right? It's coming close and should relax, hmm? like soft. But the important part is the rotation, because the rotation makes it powerful. As you can see here, without rotation, it's just like this. Hmm? There's no power. But with the rotation, uh, look at the sandbag. Yeah? It's moving a lot more, right? So you're going this impulse through the rotation. Hmm? So when you're stepping in, you step pah, and be aware of your knee, which goes in front at the same time. So you basically step in and pah, you pah, punch here, okay? Look here once again, especially at my legs. Yeah, when we're here, we're coming here. Yeah, now watch the leg. Yeah, see? Once again. I'm showing slightly from the angle so you can see easier. When you're here, you go. Understand? So, it's very hard to show in the sandbag actually. Uh, imagine you have an opponent at the front, you pull away the block huh, and you go in basically like this. Huh? The impulse will actually remove the block for a very uh, short time, fast time, but very effective, you know. When you're removing blocks, you don't need much of a movement. You only need from your center a small portion, like so. 
when the block isn't here anymore, it becomes very weak on the side. So this is what you're doing with this kind of rotational movement. The block is for split seconds off the center and you can basically punch in, all right? So for now, let's do it really, really slowly, right? Now I'm going to show you step by step the full movement. So once again, we are back in the basic position here. Slightly tilt the body forward. And we're starting our first punch. The punch looks like this. You go in, step, make it long with turning the upper body, okay? And you also don't want to step too much on the side, you know? This is no good. You want to step a bit on the side, but mostly forward. Hmm? So here, one, bam, turn body, okay? Now, you take someone, take, huh? go in here, go in, tinze bo, huh? yeah, see, punch, huh? and here again, yeah? go, punch, go, punch, all right? So, let's try it again, 50-50%, and we go, one, make it long, take, All right, uh, what is this movement? You're taking somebody and pull him to you. So this can be used in some sort of block movement. If he has a block, you can pull down with both hands the block or you can basically uh, pull him close to you at some point. Yes, or if the opponent has a shield, you can pull down shield, go in, yes also possible. So there are multiple ways how to do that. But the thing is the, the Pouchen emphasizes the movement to return the gravity back to the center. And then you're stepping like similar to Bartichwen forward and relax the shoulder and then the punch is coming in. So let's do it once again slowly. When you're here, 50-50%, go in here, one, step, Two, step, here, yeah, yeah. step, tinzebu, three, step, four, okay? Okay, so let's uh, research this movement a bit further, okay? So one important part is, is to keep your fingers out of the way when you attempt this type of movement. Basically what happens when you're going, you step, and look at the finger position. It's like a monkey, right? And the thumbs are closely inside because the thumbs are very vulnerable during this type of movement. So what you're doing is you bring center and then you cling with your center forward. At this split second, your gravity center is basically uh, in the air, you know, because you have this drop step from the partage van where you actually shortly stepping up and at the same time, at this second, the opponent has your full gravity center almost on the block what you're holding, you know. So if you're holding a shield, an arm or whatever, you're basically giving him the impulse for a very short time to pull you towards yourself, like, like he's really feeling coming forward to you, right, when you do this movement. So, Keep in mind to coordinate your step, like drop step and bah, bah, and then pull it to you and prepare for the punch, right? So, bah. okay, I hope this made it clear. Now I'm going to show you the full movement with the punches and the steps. So watch carefully. We are here, yes, and now we are going here. One. Punch, right? One, punch, yeah? One, punch, right? One, punch. And now watch carefully how we step. You step right in, yeah? Like, the, like so, you see here. Step right in, step, and go here. Punch, 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 yeah? Step in, step right, punch, 
punch, punch, punch. Huh? Step in, tensible, step right, punch, 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 punch. Step in, tensible, punch. Okay, so this is how you turn the movement. So basically this was our video for today. Try to relax the shoulder when you're going uh, for the punch and try to put your gravity center every time you're, you're stepping, you're doing this drop step, right? Put the gravity center inside your hands by doing this movement. Uh, so basically it's all about the coordination and exercise. So try to practice it frequently and yes, check out the community forum if you want to interact with our community. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon for the last fist in the Shinichuan form before we actually start the Shinichuan form, okay? So thank you for watching and see you soon. Goodbye.